the new season of Kaleet, which is this new interesting breed of a fusion of Brussels sprouts and kale. And I thought it'd only be appropriate to celebrate them in a delicious black bean and pork stir fry. Now I wanted to show you how the kaleet is grown. And this is it here. You can see it's very similar to a Brussels sprout plant. And these are the little kaleets here. They are fantastic. They don't only look great, but they taste really nutty and sweet when they're fried in a pan. And you can see that there are so many little buds of kale that are coming up here. This one's come from Eastbrook Farm, fresh this morning. So very lucky to have these. Now, because they are so fresh, I don't want to do too much to them, simply stir frying them with the pork. Now, let's get onto the pork first. I place this pork in a little bit of cling film and put it into the freezer to chill for one and a half hours so it can firm up. Now the reason I do this, this is just a little trick in the kitchen to know, is so we can get the pork as thin as possible. You can do this without freezing it, but by doing this you're going to get it into almost prosciutto thin pieces of pork and that's what I want for this. The texture of the pork is not to overpower the dish but just to almost complement the vegetable. I'm also heating up a wok. That wok has been heating up for about 10 minutes. So that's enough pork for this recipe. I'm just going to put that to the side so that's ready to go. I'll get a fresh new knife and then we can start chopping up the basic ingredients for this stir fry. A little bit of ginger, so nice thin pieces of ginger. And then we'll pop the pieces together and then I'll run my knife through it again so we've got thin matchsticks of the ginger pieces. Also a little bit of chilli. Now long red chilies aren't too hot so I'm going to use about three quarters of it, seeds and all. And lastly, two cloves of garlic for this. And just bruise it and then finally slice it into rounds. And the last thing we need to do is prepare the sauce. In a bowl, I'll combine some honey for some sweetness. I'll just scrape that out with a whisk. Along with some Shaoxing wine. That's just Chinese cooking wine. And for some saltiness, a little bit of soy sauce. And I'm not adding too much soy because I don't want to be too salty. The soybeans are really salty, so just balancing that out a bit. Okay. We're ready to go, so let's put a little bit of peanut oil into the pan. You can also use vegetable oil for this. We want this to really heat up. So pork goes in. We'll start this with batches. You don't want to overcrowd the pan. We do really want this to caramelise a lot. So do this in two to three batches. Remove it and then I'll add the onions. Right, the last batch of the pork is ready so I can go into the bowl and now it's time to add our onions. What I've done with the onions is just peeled off the layers of onion. I love the texture of it when it's done like this as opposed to chopping it. So in with the petals of onion if you like and giving them a toss and then just letting it sit there for a bit so they start to get a little bit dark on the outside. For the kaolette, you can leave them whole or because this is a stir fry and I want it to cook quite fast, I'm just going to cut them in half. They're so delicious. So I'll just cut a nice big handful. Like I said, I want to have more of the kaolettes in this recipe as opposed to the meat so we can really show them off. And these onions are looking great. So now I'll add our chilli, our garlic and our ginger. Now black beans aren't like your Mexican black beans. These are soy beans used a lot in Cantonese cooking. And what I love about them is they're really salty and how they become like this is they're salted first and then they're fermented. Drain them from the liquid because that's really, really salty. You only need about a tablespoon of these in with our onions. And now it's time to add the kale. You really want to flash fry them. They don't need long at all to cook. We just want to wilt them a little bit. At this stage, we can add our pork back in and any of those juices. Now for the sauce to finish the whole thing up, we'll just pour that in. We'll allow that sauce to glaze the meat and the kale at heat off. We've got a big bowl and we'll place this mixture into it. Now I would simply serve this with some beautiful steamed rice. 
That is a beautiful stir fry. It only takes minutes to make. That's what I love about stir fries. I do one at least once a week. And you know what? Using interesting new ingredients that are coming into season always makes them a little extra special.